Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. At the ADEX event in South Korea, the first advanced fighter jet, referred to as the fifth generation fighter jet, made a successful public premiere. It demonstrated its great maneuverability by displaying a variety of turn maneuvers. The Seoul International Aerospace and Defense Exhibition 2023 commenced for a six-day run at the airbase in Seoul, where the Korea Aerospace Industries developed KF-21 and performed a public airborne display. The KF-21 showed off its remarkable maneuverability throughout the five-minute flight, exercised by performing a variety of turn maneuvers. Later, it was on exhibit for visitors from both domestic and foreign countries. Equipping the KF-21 fighters with the Meteor missile will grant them dominance in air combat. Meteor's unique ramjet technology propels it to high supersonic speeds throughout its flight, offering a significantly larger no-escape zone and a superior kill probability compared to other missiles. This advantage allows Meteor to pursue and outmaneuver hostile fighters, making it a game-changer in air warfare. The stealth design of the KF-21, which includes elements to lower its radar cross-section and improve its survival in contested airspace, is one of its most notable characteristics. There are two engines on the aircraft, which are probably General Electric F414GE400K engines. The KF-21 has a sophisticated glass cockpit with cutting-edge electronics, such as a big touchscreen display, several sensors, and targeting systems. The KF-21 is intended to be marketed by South Korea to foreign consumers as a reasonably priced substitute for the more costly fifth-generation fighters. This might make it a rival in the global market for combat aircraft. Precision-guided bombs and sophisticated missiles are among the air-to-ground and air-to-air -air weaponry that the aircraft is equipped to carry. KF-21, the fighter jet Borum, originally known as the Kai KFX, made its debut in 2022. Although the aircraft is said to be stealthy, it is said not to have an internal weapons bay, like the fifth generation. According to reports, the United Arab Emirates has indicated its desire to participate in South Korea's KF-21 Borum -E fighter jet development program. The defense industry in South Korea is attractive to Emiratus due to the UAE's pledge to invest $30 billion in the country's sectors. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about KF-21 fighter jet in the comment section.